In this video we will continue working with the mobile data collection system and what we will do is submit our data from our device, in this case it's a smartphone, up to the server. So I went ahead and populated our practice project with a number of trees and at this point we'll say we wanted to submit our data. We try to advise people to submit your data often from the field because we can't help you get it back if it is just on the browser cache. Remember right now this is just simply in a web browser so there's nothing that we can do it's just in the forums right here so what you want to do is get this up to the server where it is more secure. So one other thing I did want to mention is if you have to go back and make a modification to any one of these trees you certainly can open these up once you get it to this point, it's usually held in the browser cache. So you'll see that data here. And for example, this particular one was my third tree. I did not enter the site type. So I can go back in here and add that in. One of the other things I wanted to mention about these forms is that when you populate data in a form, Remember that it is not cached until you advance it. So if I just back out of here to make that modification, and I'm backing out and going back to that screen where all those trees were, if I were to go back, you'll see that the site type did not take. And so the reason is, is that I never advanced that form so that it was cached. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again one more time. Select planting strip and now advance it. So if you make a modification, page through till you get to the end and it'll just update that file. And now it's updated and if I were to open this back up, I should see that my site type has been updated properly. And then I can back out of here because I'm not making any modifications. So to submit the data, if you recall, we need to go back to that settings icon which is the gear looking icon in the upper left. So go ahead and select that. And then if you recall, we have the option to submit data. So we'll select that. Another good idea is to try to keep track of the trees that you're collecting in the field. So here it's telling me that I collected 10. And these aren't necessarily trees, it's a combination of trees and planting spaces, but there's 10 records that have been collected. We'll hit submit. It quickly told me that my data was submitted and then it cleared the screen. My data has been sent up to the server. So I can't, if I were to hit this arrow, those trees will no longer appear on that browser cache. They've been submitted to the server. So I can't make any more modifications. That would have to be done on the desktop. So if I forgot something, I then would have to communicate that to the project manager and have that person update the records when they pull that into the streets project. So if I wanted to continue on, say I was taking lunch and I wanted to submit my trees, then I would just continue on and you'll see here that it started with tree ID 11. So it remembers that session and then we would just start over populating a new tree. Again, we try to encourage folks to submit their data frequently throughout the day. You do not want to carry data for many days or many weeks, which we have seen people do because you are really taking a chance that that data could be lost if somebody happens to inadvertently clear the browser cache. So in the next video, we will look at pulling that data from the server into the iTree Streets project.